Wow. The Creighton. So, just did a video on the Sentence 6S. Uh, this is going to be your second video. I don't know why we haven't got a camera gimbal yet. I think I'm just being cheap. That's okay. Look at this truck. What's amazing about this truck is, like, this is like, like, I'm going to say this is technically a, it's like a, it's like a ninth scale vehicle. It's like between, it's so huge. What I like is, first of all, the body's really dope. It's, it's really killer. I, I'm, I'm digging the, and I love how they're putting these little decals in there. It's grown on me a little bit. Like even like little things like, like see this little extra tape here. It's just so it doesn't rub through the body, this little stuff, just so when it's on the mounts, it mounts a little bit nicer. It doesn't rattle around as bad. Very, very cool. And these retained body clips are really cool. And if you do break them or, or need more, we have more. So this is the Creighton 4S, okay? And they're using uh, the newer Hobbywing systems in, in, in this guy, okay, which is great. Um, this truck is massive. Like the wheels are, I, I mean, they're like so over, they're like six and a half inch tall, like diameter wheels. That's huge. It's got these cool funky wheel nuts too that I really like. Now, if any of you guys, I know I'm talking about wheel nuts here, okay? But if any of you guys have been around in RC long enough, you'll understand or you'll remember seeing these on HPI Savages. These are a little longer shanks, so they're a little easier to get to. Um, but what's nice, or the, like the nut's a little bit deeper, I should say. But what's great is it actually, this built-in huge washer is really cool because it it's a big wheel and it will distribute the force of the nut over a larger area. It's just, it's a little attention to detail and it makes a big difference, okay? Now this guy's about, I think these are about 100 bucks cheaper than the Sentin, okay? 100, 150 bucks cheaper, whatever, okay? I don't really get into too much pricing on the vids anymore, but... Uh, just there's a lot of translation with American, Canadian, Euros, you know, yen, whatever. Okay, lira. I'm Maltese. They have lira there. I don't know. So uh, they've got this wicked awesome looking cross brace, which is great because it's really thin. Uh, I like that it's aluminum. It's a little showy. They probably didn't need to make it out of something so bright. I'm digging it. I just think it's cool. It's like, wow, look at me. I've got a brace on there. And they're keeping the vehicle lightweight. It, it is a plastic chassis. It's very simplified chassis. Like, Armas came a long, long way. I remember back in the day when they had the remote that kind of flipped around left to right. Uh, so if you were a lefty or a righty, it was, it was incredibly smart. Just wasn't executed oh so perfectly but that's okay uh back to the wheels and tires the wheel and tire quality seems good i am not going to give it the great recommendation okay um like the Seton, the notorious um you know outcast i should say uh those are getting excellent those are 10 out of 10 wheels these to me are a little softer i'm not really digging the tread design that much and the wheels do look a little cheap okay and um, but I know that they'll hold up. I'm pretty sure like these are similar wheels to like what some of the red cat larger scale are using and they do hold up really, really well. It's just, I like something that's, um, just maybe a little bit more aggressive, but I understand they do work good for the vehicle in, in, in this case, the Creighton 4S and that's, I, I'm okay with it. Okay. And I, you know what I like about this? It's got a little, like, look at the little handle. You pick it up. It's really cool. EC5s. Uh, no, I, I'm actually a huge fan of these connectors. Five millimeter, uh, pins are, are wonderful. They flow a ton of current and I think they're rated for like 120 or 150 amps, which is great. You've got this little onboard capacitor, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's, there's two little caps in there. So obviously they had some kind of an issue, you know, it's 120 amp ESC, but you know, these guys weren't cutting it. So they put a couple in line, I guess. So they, I, I, I might be off there, but that it, it looks good. They've, they've done their research, their homework. Uh, fan cooled you know, heat sink, again, you know, that's like 30, 40 bucks they're putting into these vehicles that other companies simply are not. These shields, super cool, and they're easy to get off. Couple screws and they come off, which is really nice. I like it. Mounting batteries in here. Um, so nice and simple. They've got these, uh, just two Velcro straps. You just pull these off, put your two two cells in there. Um, now a big question we get is two two cells or one four cell? Um, I'm gonna give you a confusing answer like always okay because that's chris's house style okay two two cells to me is the ultimate i'll tell you why um if you 
have other vehicles. Um, most vehicles will take a single two cell battery. So then you can have two batteries for your other vehicle and one set of batteries for this vehicle. The other thing too is two cell batteries are generally a little bit cheaper, albeit they're gonna be a little bit heavier sometimes than a single four cell. The problem with a single four cell also that we're gonna get into is, okay, it's a four cell. If you do have one cell go, you know, your battery's done. Okay, someone's like, well, then it'll be a three cell. That doesn't work like that. Usually the battery's cooked at that point, okay? But understand, though, that reliability on a two cell is 300% higher than a four cell. And if you don't trust that or you don't understand, I'll show you my warranty bin of stuff full of three and four and six S batteries. And there's a few two cells in there because we sell a lot more two cells. Two cells are the more reliable battery. They're even obviously wanting you to do that. I mean, this might come with a little plug so you can go to one battery, but they're obviously wanting you to use your two two cells. That's why it's got two connectors. I'm just saying, okay? I know out there in internet land, well, one four cell. The only downside with two two cells is you need a dual charger. Who cares? I, Yeah, I said it. Who cares? Buy a dual charger. Dual charges have came down in price. The Venom Pro Duo is a great charger. We actually use that charger ourselves here fixing some dirty gas stuff caught a whole bunch of them lately so a, a twin charger is fantastic works great okay charge two batteries at one time and you're good to go and i think it actually comes with ec5 connectors <gasps> shout out to venom hashtag we love venom <laughs> say hi charlie he's like what he's like i've, I've lived here forever Okay, let's talk more about the truck. Um, it has this telescoping center drive shaft. I think this is actually fairly goofy. Um, I'm sure it works just fine, but it's got like a center, you know, bearing in there. Um, I don't really think that's a great design, to be honest with you. I like what Traxxas does. Um, geez, I even like what Red Cat does with some of their shafts, you know. Keep it two-piece, maybe with a, you know, uh, I don't know. It's okay. It works fine. The Granite 4x4, the 3, 3S, the BLX, those are beautiful, durable machines. So I know this is going to work. Um, I just, it'd be, it'd be nice to, like, get another aluminum shaft in there or something, you know. And I understand it won't telescope. I don't know. Figure it out, okay? Um, turnbuckles, we're returning back to a normal size of turnbuckle. However, they're very, very tough, which is great. Um, you know, I love the shocks. So you've got, like, these, these are huge body shocks. Like, they're, it's my thumb. Thumb shock patented uh they got a couple spacers in here which is a-okay all right nice big well loose wound shocks uh or coils so they, these are this this truck is in, damped incredibly well very very smooth very good and with the extra plushness of the tires this thing is just going to soak it up that's the thing some people are like well i want really firm foam in my tires not necessarily on all vehicles. Some vehicles you want the suspension to do all the work. And what's nice with this is your the chassis is doing a bit of work because it's going to flex a little bit. Why it has the you know the the um, the telescoping drive shaft, and why they had to put a brace in it because they needed to control the flex. And obviously you've got your flex of your arms, you got your flex of your tires, and, and your suspension all working together. So when you want to bash this thing, this thing is the next level. Like this is. This to me is really what what the industry and what the RC community really should be gunning for is something like this. At the price point too, okay? Like we're going to get out some of the bigger guns later on. Telescoping drive shafts, I always like to see steel, but the telescoping is good, which is nice. Here, let me just let me just take this for a second here, okay guys? Chris House, can you hold just for one moment, please? Thanks. I'm going to stick them on hold for a whole minute, okay? <laughs> um oversized bearings lots of great build quality in this we i think this truck is really going to be the the this to me seems like the go-to i don't want to use the word budget but this is kind of the go-to what makes sense for a 4s truck if you want a lot of power a lot of speed and a lot of durability and i'm digging it you know, I, I, from the connectors to the body clips to a lot of things. Yeah, I'd like to see a little better tires. Yeah, I'd like to see aluminum body shocks, maybe an aluminum drive shaft. Don't worry, there you have upgrades. And you get a wheelie bar. It's really nice. <laughs> and a wing. You put a wing on anything and I'm going to buy it. Okay, it's good. Okay, guys. I know I covered a lot of random stuff on this truck. If you have questions, post it below. Look at how good that looks. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. Have fun.